Hello, everybody, and welcome to the BMX Q and A. Uh, I am here with my first guest, Joe. Um, I met Joe a long time ago. Well, not so long, not so long. It feels like a long time, but uh, about three years ago, I met Joe after coming home from the Grands. About well, four years ago, yeah. Um, he watched me race the Grands, uh, 2017, from home. Uh, I came home and ended up meeting him for the first time. He really thought it was cool that I was a, a BMXer, and I told him that he could uh, be a BMXer too. So I ended up giving him uh, my number plate from that Grands, and since then he has actually become a BMXer himself. And I thought that that would be a perfect person to uh, bring on my show first. So, start off with the show. Um, let's see your full name. What's your full name? Joseph Lee Wayne Schimberger. Okay, and what what class do you ride? I I race um, eleven intermediate, twenty inch. Do you race uh, open or anything like that? Yeah, sometimes I'll do open, and I tried cruiser once, but I had the person had clip pedals on, so I didn't do too great. Right, right. Uh, how do you feel about that twelve and under clip? clip thing do you did you uh ride clips before um not really like sometimes on on like your bike even i would ride like clip pedals but like they were a little bit bigger and everything right so you never really actually raced in clips yeah no so do you feel like it's better that you raced with flats and and instead of actually learning clips yeah because especially because they're kicking all the clips off like it's better that i know the flats i have a better advantage now right um so, what kind of bike do you ride? Uh, a DK Elite. Um, is that your favorite kind of bike, or what kind of bike would you actually like if you uh, were to pick any bike? Any bike, I think I would choose a Haro. Okay. Um, that's, that's not a bad bike. Um, I did pretty good last year on a Haro. Um, who do you ride for? Well, I was riding for Rockford, but they're going through like a switch right now to submersive. Mm -hmm. And so right now I ride for my mom and my dad. Right, right. Uh, that's, you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, sometimes it's better to ride for your mom and your dad. You know, it, uh, like I, I rode for my parents quite a while, you know, and, 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 uh, and it made me feel, you know, a little better when I actually did good or, you know, something like, you know, my parents... I always, I always went to them, and, and if I did really good, I felt, you know, like I did something for somebody rather than just myself, you know. As a team, it's like, yeah, I, you know, they're just... It's like, yeah, yeah I did good. But... Right, right. So riding for your parents is really good. Um, uh, let's see. What's your favorite track? Um, well, I th would say Indiana Portage, the outside one. Not the indoor too much, but the outdoor track I like. A right. lot. Yeah, and you raced that national there too, didn't you? Yeah, the Stars and Stripes. And what place did you get? Second two days and the last day I pulled in that first. Nice, nice. Um, what is your favorite national that you've ever been to so far? I'd have to say my favorite national I think was the Stars and Stripes. That was definitely my best national. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always nice to get a win at national, man. Yeah. It really don't matter where you're at, you know, it, it, it that just makes us, that's more special, you know. Especially if you're going to Nash. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be, you know, I could even go, you know, Rockford is my home track. It's fun. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not like it, I don't like going there. But if I go there to a national and I win, it just makes it, you know, awesome. Even better because yeah. it's your home right, track. Right, right, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it, it don't matter if you're at a crappy track. And if you win, it's going to it's gonna be a great memory, you know. Um, how many wins do you got until you go expert? I got the full 20. The full 20? Okay. So you haven't won an intermediate, intermediate yet? Yeah. I had a total points the other, the two time, two, well, the last two times I raced. Yeah. But I got last, I don't know what happened. I got last the first round and then the next two rounds, or the next round I got first. Right. And I found out I was going to get second anyways, so yeah. I just. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely a little uh, it's a little bit of a jump once you you come from novice to intermediate, you know. You gotta for sure, for sure. You gotta push, you gotta push, and and uh, you just can't quit. You know, that's 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 the difference between the good riders now that you see the older kids. It's not like they just jumped on the bike and and had the skills. You know, they went through losing. They went through not making the mains. Uh, I did that. You know, I I spent my my share of time. 
riding home while everybody's at on the gate, you know, in the main event. And there was a lot of times I was crying. You know, there's a lot of times that I didn't do well at nationals. Uh, so as long as you just keep at it, you know, you'll get you'll get your time. Every dog has their day. They say that for a reason. Yeah. So um, just keep at it. You know. Um, what number did you end up this season? I ended up 14 in the district. Nice. Um, so, what's your goals for next year? My goal for next year is to at least get maybe 5, 10 wins. Mm-hmm. And, or another team look at me. Mm-hmm. But um, other than that, I don't really have like a goal for a, like a state or like a... Like, yeah, state play would be nice, but I don't really have a goal for gold anymore. Right. Um, let's get, uh, let's say, let's shoot for, um, 10 wins, 10 wins next year. Yeah, Or this, wins. this season. I think you get 10 wins. Um, you always gotta have a goal to shoot forward to, you know, because if you don't have a goal, then it's, Points. you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have that fire to, to reach, you know, so. Um, we're gonna wrap it up with two more questions. I'll give you, um, who's your favorite pro rider? I think my favorite pro rider is Connor Fields. Connor Fields. And what makes you like him? I don't know. There's just ever, ever since I saw his YouTube channel, there's just something about him. I just wanted to meet him. Yeah, yeah. I watch his YouTube, man, and he is, he's a good dude. He uh, he has a lot of skill, and he can he can teach you know pretty well. So you know, all you can do is watch his videos and, and kind of just you know mimic what he does. Yeah, you know, almost you know, met him good. at. The grinds this year, but because he came off the finish line, was drinking an energy drink, and I was asking if I could get his picture, but he was too focused in his mind or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, racing, when you meet a pro at racing, it's it's hard to to talk to them because they're like you said, they're focused. Uh, I, I did the same thing with Sam Willoughby. If you know who that is, no. Sam Willoughby was uh he's number one. He was you know an ass kicker, <laughs> and. Uh, I, I did the same thing to him, you know, I tried talking to him at one of the races, and he just kind of, like, he didn't even yeah, hear me, you know, hear. like, he didn't even hear me, you know, and, uh, and I finally met him outside of the racing, and, and it was a totally different person, he was, like, super cool, you know, uh, it, it's hard to talk to the guys, especially Grams, you know, because yeah. they're so focused, in, and it's, like, especially because he was out the pro, right, he's out there, the and yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> It's hard to it's hard to balance you know your fans and being focused for you know that number one race because I mean he had to go out there and win for to be number one again so yeah. but uh yeah I mean that's a good guy to to, to you know look up to he, he's a uh, he's great on social media he's a very good writer um, and one more question uh Let's see. Do you plan on any nationals this year? I think, um, I yeah, I think I'm going to a few. I don't know exactly which ones. We we're gonna go to the Virginia, but COVID canceled that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't know which ones they are. But yeah, I obviously, I knew the one in Wisconsin because you live yeah. in Wisconsin, right? That's that's the given. Yeah. All right. All right. If you guys are gonna go to Wisconsin, the nationals, you can go see Joe. Um, this is Joe Schimberger. Um, this is our first show. Uh, glad you guys tuned in and watched us. Um, we'll see you guys at the races.